Mixed numbers. Adding mixed numbers. What are they? Numbers consisting of a whole number and a proper fraction. Why? Helps in restoring old pieces of furniture. Interesting fact. Since the 1960s, Toucan Sam, a cartoon mascot, has been used as the face of Kellogg's breakfast cereal, Fruit Loops. Now let's take a look at the examples we're going to discuss in today's video. Example 1 and 2, the denominators are the same. Examples 3, 4a, and 4b are when the denominators are different. Now let's take a look at example 1. Before we do that, let's read the steps. Step 1, add the whole number. Step 2, make sure the denominators are the same. And we can use the LCM or the least common multiple to find the common denominator. And step 3, simplify. Let's read the question. Add the mixed numbers 2 and 1, 6, and 5 and 4, 6. So, uh, first step is add the whole numbers 2 and 5, which is 7. Now we can write down our fractions, which are 1, and, 1, 6, and 4, 6. Since we have a common denominator of 6, we can add our numerators, which are 1 and 4, and the result is 5 over 6. Since uh, we have a proper fraction, we can go ahead Put those two numbers together, the 7 and the 5, 6, and that is our answer. Now let's take a look at example 2. We have 3 and 4 fifths plus 3 plus 5 and 3 fifths. Let's go ahead and add the whole numbers, 3 and 5, and the result is 8. Write down our fractions, 4 fifths and 3 fifths. Since we already have a common denominator, we can go ahead and add the numerators of 4 and 3, and the result is 7 over 5. And since we have an improper fraction, uh, we need to write a mixed number so we can combine it with 8 so we can have one number. In order to do that, we need to use long division. Now some of you may already know how to do this, but uh, we're going to show you anyway. Now, uh, to, we're going to write down the multiples of 5 and pick the closest multiple of 5 to 7 uh, without going over, and that is 5. So we write the, the two factors of 5 and 1, because 5 times 1 is 5. We put the 1 above, the 5 below, subtract the 7 and the 5, and you get 2. And that is our remainder. We're going to use 5, 1, and 2 and, uh, as our mixed number, which is 1 and 2 fifths. Now we're going to add that to the 8, and we get 8 plus 1, which is 9 and 2 fifths. And that is our answer. Now let's take a look at example 3 where we have 2 and 3 fourths plus 4 and 2 fifths. Now this time we have different denominators, but we're going to begin with the same process by adding the whole numbers, which is 2 uh, plus 4, and the result is 6. And now we can go ahead and write down the fractions of 3 fourths and 2 fifths. And we're going to use the, the process LCM, or least common multiple, to find our common denominator. In order to do that, we're going to write down the multiples of 4 and 5, and we're going to find uh, one that, that they both have, or a common one. And that is 20. And so since we're, our new common denominator is going to be 20, we need to make that 4 into 20, and in order to do that, we need to multiply that by 5. So since we multiply the 4 by 5, we need to do the same thing to the numerator. So we multiply the top and bottom by 5, and 5 times 3 is 15, and 5 times 4 is 20, and that is our new fraction. So now we need to do the same process to the 2 fifths, but this time we're going to multiply the top and bottom by 4, because 4 times 5 is 20, and four and which means if we, since we did it to the denominator, we need to do it to the numerator, and that gives us 4 times 2, which is 8, and that is our new fraction, 8 over 20. Since we have a common denominator, we can go ahead add the numerators together of 15 and 8 and the result is 23 over 20. Since we have an improper fraction we need to go ahead and use long division to find our mixed number. Now we can go ahead and write down the multiples of 20 and pick the closest multiple, multiple of 20 to 23 without going over and that is 20. And we use the two, the two factors in our answer 20 times 1 uh, and we write the 1 above 20 below, and now we can go ahead and subtract the 23 and the 20 to give us 3, and that is our remainder. So we use the 1, the 20, and the 3 in our answer to, for the mixed number, which is 1 and 3 over 20. Add that to the 6, and 6 plus 1 is 7, 
and our answer is 7 and 3 over 20. Now let's take a look at example 4a. Add the mixed numbers 4 and 7 over 9 plus 3 and 2 over 3. Okay, so this time our denominators are different. Same process, add the whole numbers of 4 and 3. The result is 7. This time we're going to go ahead and uh, after we write down the fractions, of course, this time we're going to go ahead and multiply the two denominators to find a common denominator. Uh, sometimes that's the fastest way, sometimes it's not. You just have to do it uh, a few times to figure out which way, which method you like. So since we're going to multiply the 9 and 3, we're going to multiply the top, uh, the, the numerator and the denominator by 3. And since 3 times 7 is 21, and 3 times 9 is 27, that is our new fraction, 21 over 27. Since now we're going to go ahead and multiply 2 thirds uh, by 9, since, and we're going to do it to the top and bottom. So 9 times 2 is 18, 9 times 3 is 27. Well, uh, that is our new fraction, 18 over 27. Since we have a common denominator, we can go ahead and add the numerators together, which gives us 21 and 18, and that is 31 over 27. Since we have an improper fraction, we need to write this as a mixed number. So we're going to use long division. Write down the multiples of 27 so you can see which one is closest to 39 without going over, and that is 27. Use the two factors of 27 and 1, and our answer, write the 1 above the 39, 27 below, subtract 39 and 27, which gives us 12. This is also our remainder, and we can use the 27, the 1, the 12 as, as our new mixed number, 1 and 12, 12 over 27. Now that is not quite done because we need to simplify. Why? Because 12 and 27 are both multiples of 3, so we can divide 12 by 3, which gives us 4, 27 by 3, which gives us 9, and that is our new mixed number, 1 and 4 over 9. Combine that with the 7, 7 plus 1 gives us 8 and 4 ninths, and that is our answer. Now let's take a look at example 4b. Same question, but we're going to use the LCM this time. Uh, we're going to add the whole numbers, 4 and 3, which gives us 7. Write down the fractions, and we're going to write down the multiples of 9, the multiples of 3, and find one that they share, or a common one. And in this case, 9 is the first one. Since 7 over 9 already has a 9, we can go ahead and just write the fraction below. And now, since we need the, uh, since our common denominator is 9, we need to multiply the top and bottom by 3 so we can make sure that our new denominator is 9. So 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, that is our new fraction, 6 over 9. Since we have a common denominator of 9, we add the numerators, 7 plus 6, the result is 13 over 9. Once again, we have an improper fraction, so we need to use long division to find the mixed number, write down the multiples of 9, find the one that's closest to 13 without going over, and that is 9, so we use our two factors of 9 and 1, 1 above, 9 below, subtract the 13 and 9 to find our remainder, which is 4, and there we have it. Now we're going to use the 9, the 1, and the 4, and as our mixed number, which is 1 and 4 ninths, and we're going to combine it with the 7, so 7 plus 1 is 8, and our answer is 8 and 4 ninths, and there we go. Same answer as 4a, just a little different, and since, since uh, we didn't have to simplify, and now it is your turn, so go ahead and pause the video, so you can take your time to answer these uh, four questions, I'll, I will move, I'll show you the answers in 3, 2, and one. Here you go. Uh, hopefully, if you, if, you, if you got them correct, well done. If not, there's always tomorrow.